Good morning, everybody. It's good to see you this morning, and we are continuing forward with our daily words of encouragement. Um, today, we're talking about Psalms 23, the first part of verse 4, which reads, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. The best part about this particular part of Psalms 23 is that it begins a different type of conversation. David's testimony begins. I mean, he's telling us about the relationship that he has between he and God and how that works for him as a shepherd because he's had this experience as a shepherd. He, As a child, he was up in the hills with the, the sheep and they called him down to talk to him about being the king. And so we know that um, he knows what the best way is to lead his sheep. He knows what it's like to be able to take the sheep from one area to move them across the mountains to the others when the seasons change. And one of the best ways to do that, believe it or not, is through those valleys. The one most important thing that happens in those valleys versus up in the mountains is that they have plenty of water. Not just stagnant water, but running water, clean water. And the more that they climb and the more that they move, the thirstier these sheep get. And so it's important to the shepherd that they've got the ability to, to drink clean water all the way through, not just for them, but a lot of times they'll carry their babies with them. And when they have small, um, you know, small lambs, they need to be able to bring them to water as often as possible. So this offers the best opportunity for that kind of rest and that water and that encouragement. So as they walk, they can stop for a moment and drink all along the way. So that's what it does. This, it refreshes them and, and encourages them to, to be healthy and strong so they can make it through that valley. But the shepherd also knows that there are concerns about going through that valley as well. That valley carries with it a lot of um, challenges and, in, and it encourages the shepherd to be quite watchful about what's going on with their sheep because they know that those cliffs and those mountains and places like that are perfect places for coyotes and bears and cougars and other kind of wild animals to to prey upon the sheep uh, it is a possibility for them to hide up there and jump down at the last moment and so that's a dangerous part so they have to be very careful about you know where they are and what they're doing at all times but the other part of the concerns that going through the valley causes is is a sudden you know, sudden wind and rain and snow and sleet. It can hit before they even know it's happening. And then by the time that happens, the, the valley can fill up with water. Um, they can definitely snow down on the poor sheep. And, and the sheep, once they're exposed, it can lead them into a really bad place. I mean, they, they can catch pneumonia and die pretty quickly. I mean, we think with their woolly coats that they'll be able to handle that kind of uh, weather. But in fact, they're quite thin-skinned, these sheep. So it makes me think about exposure and where we are often put in a place where we feel vulnerable, uh, a place where we feel like maybe even that we're alone in that. And if you've ever been through um, some of the darkest challenges of this world, I mean, divorce, death of a loved one, long-term debilitating illness, whether it's for you or somebody that you love. I mean, this is a really hard place to be. In fact, one of the things that I've learned over my terms is that sometimes the best people to, to talk about this and to talk people through this time in their lives are those of you who have lived through it because you understand some things that maybe others who haven't won't. When I think back to my father who died of Alzheimer's a couple years ago and and one of the things that I can do in hindsight is I can look back and say, oh my gosh, that was hard. I could see what it was doing to my mom and my family and the things that he would do and say were so erratic and not him and, and trying to get into the perspective where we can love him right then, right there, no matter what was going on. It's a really difficult place to get to. But I also know having been there and being able to look back on that, that not only were there dangers, not only were there challenges, not only was there heartbreak, Oh, so much heartbreak and all of that. There was also moments when I can see that when I was going through those valleys, that indeed I was not alone. And that I could find that throughout that walk, that God was indeed with me as well. And that over the, oh, even though I was going through some of the toughest times in my life, I can look back and I can see where that water was provided. I can see where that, that bubbling uh, promise of hope was there. 
I can see in the places in the valleys where we could hide in the crevices so that we couldn't be taken by predators and we couldn't be overwhelmed by our bereavement. We couldn't be overwhelmed by the sadness and the frustration. And then indeed, these valleys became places that not only could we move through the hardest of times, but we could also be reminded that no matter what happens to us, that God is always with us and that God is always providing a way so that we can feel refreshed and that we can move through the hardest times. And for those who've done this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And those who do not, that's why you have the church, to encourage you to pay attention to those signs of water, the signs of grace that God is always giving us, no matter what's going on in our lives. Let us pray. Dear God, we are blessed to have you in all things at all times. We know that sometimes the things that we go through, our first instinct is just to look down to the ground in despair. But we also know that sometimes the biggest hope comes from refusing that choice and making a choice to look up. So while we're dealing with this time of shelter in place, Lord, give us strength. This may have been one of the most hard, difficult times that the families are experiencing right now. And I would like them to know that that stream of water, that, that, that place of hope is there for them as well. Give us the strength to straighten our backs, to walk forward and to continue moving into our faith and allow us to lean in, even if it's a little further back than we have leaned into our faith before. Because we know, because we know, that you are always with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Until next time, folks.